Hey guys, it's Brad at Nirvana Comics. Before we get into the CGC signature stuff, I wanted to show you a few other things from a collection that we just got in yesterday. Uh, so this is going to be the first of hopefully many or maybe just one long video. We had all this stuff priced out and ready to go for Black Friday, but I wanted to go ahead and get a video of this stuff real quick before... It uh, leaves us, and we don't see it again for a very long time. So I wanted to show you guys some of that shit real quick. Uh, we've got some big bangers in here. We've got a almost a complete run of Spawn, which I'll be showing you throughout these videos. And then uh, some horror movie comics, uh, stuff that you just don't see that often. Real low print runs. So here we are. Uh, first up, we've got Freddy versus Jason versus Ash, which is a insane set to see complete and in really good condition some of these the condition uh very obviously but that one is in great condition and so is this one the nightmare warrior it's got that awesome bruce campbell cover and that uh those are complete sets next up we've got resident evil from wild storm we've got one two three and five we're still on the hunt for four but i guarantee it is in there somewhere the next up one i was super excited to see because i loved these games growing up was silent hill sinner's reward we've got one through four i believe that is the complete set if not we've got an entire long box full of shit just like this and it's scattered throughout the collection also one long box of that stuff for sure. Next up, we've got Halloween, the first death of Laurie Strode, one and two, on the lookout for that number three. Now, let's get to some other awesome books that we got in this collection. Next up, we've got a Batman 423, iconic Todd McFarlane Batman cover there. Next up, we've got Spawn 237. This is the Mexican edition variant. Next up is Spawn 231, the homage cover to Spider-Man number one. Then we've got Spawn 230, which is the homage to that Batman 423 you just saw. And we got Spawn 29, classic Hulk annual homage. We got Spawn 228, Action Comics number one homage. Spawn 227, the Spider Man 300 homage. One of my favorites, Spawn 226. The Hulk 341 homage. Spawn 222. The ASM 216 homage. I believe it's 216. Could be wrong. If it's not, I'll put it up. Uh, Spawn 220. Savage Dragon number one homage. Spawn 221. The Amazing Fantasy 15 homage. Then next up, let's see. Okay, let's get back to the homages. Uh, we've got a Spawn 224. It's the Dark Knight Returns homage. Part 2. Spawn 225. This is the Watchmen number 1 homage. Spawn 223. Walking Dead 1 homage. And then we have got your gunslinger spawns here. Let's do 174. We got 175. Um, 179. Beautiful books, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, and then we've got this uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre Raising Cane set. One through three. And then that is all I've got back here right now. We've got some Friday the 13th, uh, Badland, 
Abuser and the Abused, Halloween 30 Years of Terror, and then Evil Dead number four. Again, we'll be looking through for those throughout this collection. Those were just some cool ones that I would love to show you before they get sold. Thank you guys so much, and please stay tuned for the CGC Signature Unboxing. Hello, everybody. I'm Brad, and welcome back to Nirvana Comics. Today, we have an exciting video. We just got in a new CGC box that is filled with uh, CGC signature stuff that we had uh, done at Heroes Con this year while we were working with Capture Collectibles, who uh, is an affiliate with CGC, and we can go around and get stuff signed, and it will be uh, verified. So we helped them out this past year at Heroes, and then a few of these were from uh, store signings that we had from some buddies that came through that we have done store uh, variants with. But let's go ahead and get down to it, guys. Uh, before we do, though, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, share if possible. Everything helps. Now, this is my second time going through these because I, uh, I squashed the first one pretty hard. So let's go through it. I already know the grades, but we'll blow through it pretty fast. There's some cool shit in here. Uh, first up, we have got Amazing Spider-Man 238. This is the first appearance of Hobgoblin. Now, this is green label. It is qualified because it is missing the tattoos. But nonetheless, it is signed by John Ramita Jr. And it got the 7.5. Not a bad way to start it up. I believe that is a customer book. And we will keep it going. Guys, next up, we've got Venom Deadpool. What if number one? This is the Russian edition. This is signed by Scotty Young. We got this one done at Heroes while we had a private signing with him. Got to hang out with him for like 30, 45 minutes or so. Super nice guy. I'll try to uh, try to put some photos down below of our time with him. But nonetheless, the Russian edition signed by Scotty Young. We got the 9.8 on that. Awesome. Awesome book there. Next up, we've got the Venom 150 Scotty Young variant. This is the Mexican Archival Edition. This reprints Venom 150 in the foil cover. Got this signed at Heroes also by our buddy Scotty Young. And that came in at the 9.6. And to follow that one up immediately, we got another. 9.6. We bought a few of these and sold them on whatnot at a huge discount and lost a little bit of money, but that's okay. That's all right. We should have held on to them and got them signed. But nonetheless, they went out to some awesome customers. Thanks for joining us over there. We hope you enjoyed the books. Next up is Ain't No Grave number one. This is the gold foil cup. Now, you might be thinking, I never saw a gold foil cover for Ain't No Grave number one. Well, that's because we were the only ones to get them. This year, Image started their Retailer Award, and we were the recipients of the very first one. I'll try to throw some pictures of some of that, too. We got a cool uh, medallion and something to put up on our showcase but so we had the opportunity to pick one image book and get a print of 200 in gold foil and that is what we have right here we got that one at a 9.6 signed by scotty young now guys we actually do have a few of those still up for sale i believe i will double check but i believe the print count was only 200 of these we've got those on our website and also in our uh whatnot store. So go check those out if you are interested. A very low print run on a Scotty Young book. Not a bad problem to have. Now next up, got the same thing, but in a 9.8. Beautiful. 
Let's do that again. We got the black signature. We've got the white signature on that one. In a 9.8. Next up, looks like we've got a couple of books from our buddy Jason Flowers, who we've worked with uh, a bunch through our uh, buddies over at Epicos in getting some uh, variant covers done by him. And this one is Biker Mice from Mars, number one from Oni Press. And this is the Jason Flowers variant. It is signed and sketched. Right there, and I know he did a run on these. He got all three mice, and all at a 9.8. Absolutely gorgeous books. If you haven't yet, please go check out Jason Flowers on Instagram. He also uh, does whatnot. Go check him out. Awesome artist. Good friend. That one. Next up, we have got a TMNT 99, also sketched and signed by Jason Flowers. This is the Epicos Comics, Cards, and Games Edition blank cover. Absolutely gorgeous. Next up, we've got our variant cover for Dick Tracy number one that we did with Matt Wilson. And this is the Nirvana Comics edition. It says right up there. Got that signed and sketched by our buddy Matt Wilson. Really good book. You guys should check out some Dick Tracy that's going on right now through Mad Cave. Awesome stuff. And another one signed by a good friend of the shops. This is Something is Killing Our People, number one, signed by Javon Jordan. This is the AP edition. Something is Killing Our People, number one. And guys, last but certainly not least. We've got World Tree number one, signed, sketched, and There Is Nothing to Fear by Matt Wilson. This is the Comic Mint Edition version. Of Good shit, guys. That is all for today. That's our latest unboxing, but be sure to follow the channel down below, and anytime we get some cool new ones in, I'll be showing them off here. I know CGC is uh, kind of lacking in their times right now, so uh, hopefully we'll have them out. Uh, have some more for you very, very shortly. Guys, thank you all so much for joining, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.